and welcome back to Instant Screaming. Today we got two Netflix found footage movies. Shocking, I know. First up, Their Watching follows a TV crew shooting a follow-up special to one of those house hunting shows where they originally helped a, uh, a semi-famous artist buy an abandoned house in a remote Eastern European village. After a day or two, there they end up on the wrong end of a local witch hunt. The found footage here is pretty well explained and it makes a lot of sense since they're a professional videography crew. The whole thing is really light too. I wouldn't say it's fully horror comedy, but it seems to uh, represent most people's desire to enjoy their work and not be stone serious on the job all the time. The story is interesting enough and lays out a mystery pretty well, so nothing seems completely out of left field. But by the end, the action goes well past the point of reasonable and becomes complete fantasy, which really isn't what I personally want in a found footage movie. But they built to it pretty well, so it was a fun enough movie to watch. Not great or particularly scary, but you could definitely do worse. Now in The Good Neighbor, two teenagers use high-tech trickery to attempt to convince the cranky old man who lives across the street that his house is being haunted by the most generic ghost possible. To track his reactions, they install small wireless surveillance cameras in his house and also in their control center for some reason that eludes me. Other obviously not filmed in universe scenes are cut in periodically and I think that's where the movie's strength lies. The Good Neighbor isn't the sort of movie that wants you scared or terrified. Its primary goal is to leave you generally disturbed, disgusted, and maybe even a little upset. And I think it does this pretty well. It's a very good mystery with appropriate misdirects and well-timed revelations. There are some superfluous elements to throw you off the scent, like one of the teen's odd obsessions with the old guy's basement. But ultimately, it all does serve to set up the final act, which contains some pretty good gut punches and thankfully doesn't explicitly spell them all out. I call movies on this channel fun a lot, and this movie isn't fun at all, but it is very, very good and very artfully done. But that's it for this week. I hope this helps you plan your next movie night. And uh, in the meantime, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Cheers!